Good evening, family, once again. This is Jeffrey here with the new work entitled New York City Diecast. I set up the email already. We got nycdiecast at gmail.com, and I have named the YouTube channel NYC Diecast. NYC Space Diecast. Thank you for tuning in once again to my second full length video. Happy Sunday to everybody. I'm wishing all of you had a wonderful weekend and spent it with uh, someone you care about or doing something that you love. Um, I went out, I did a little peg hunting today. I made my first short and I got a nice little surprise at the Dwayne Reed slash Walgreens and I also did a little peg hunt at the Dollar General. Wasn't able to get any of the Dollar General exclusives or anything really special. But nonetheless, I'll show you what I got today. All right. Starting with the Dollar General, right? We got some mainline basic Hot Wheels. Nothing too crazy, but I'm just going to start showing you. I scored two more of the uh, Liberty Wharf Super Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15s. LBWK Liberty Walks. I have one or two of these already, but I know these are really popular with the guys who customize, and I hear that they're hard to get in some parts of the country, so um, once I get connected with you fellas, if you need a little something, I'd be happy to grab them for the cause, or just off the GP, as we say here in New York City, right? So I grabbed those two. Got a little 2020 Corvette. It's not the Super, but it's the main line. Still a nice car to have. I have one open, now I have one carded. That's from the 2022 E-Case. Nice, beautiful blue on that. One of the models I collect, I told you I collect certain models. I collect four GTs. This is my second Mark IV. This is in the um, Gulf livery. It's a very popular livery. Uh, so, yeah, I got two of those. I picked up another one of these. I opened my first one. Enterprise, right? I'm a, a Trekker, Trekkie, I don't know what the PC term is, but uh, I watched a little Star Trek back in my day. Sorry, my phone's going off. I'm a popular guy. Another Bel Air Gasser, a model I collect, Triassic 5. I just, I just can't stop buying them, even though I have them. It's just such a beautiful casting. I went back and got some of the original castings, and um, I think I'll show you them probably in another video. I'll go through that collection, and... Um, I got the Toyota Land Cruiser 80, a classic, classic model. This one's in the mud, mud studs collection, right? So you got the brown mudded tires, and I got all the um, endorsements, the advertisements on the side. I love that. It's got a real kind of Baja, Baja vibe to it, you know? And then last one I got is the Draft Nader. Regular treasure hunt. I was happy to find that, a little something, something. From the E-Case. Not my normal cup of tea, but if there is a treasure hunt, I'm going to grab it. If there's another one, obviously, I'm going to leave it for a kid. Especially if it's a fantasy casting. Um, this I got a couple days ago, but this is just in my little bag of tricks. And I figured uh, I'll add this to the collection. This is a couple years older, I think. This is from the uh, Steel, or I believe it was the Black Steel collection. This is the Buick GSX 1970. I'm really into classic American muscle, you know, and just a beautiful casting. I mean, look, it matches my shirt too, right? So we're going to pop that one right on screen for you guys. For those of you that like that. Cracking cards. I mean, really nice, really clean black pinstripe. And a beautiful burgundy red. You got the racing stripes on the hood and on the roof. Really beautiful car. We're going to put that away into one of my muscle car uh, collections. That's pretty much it for the Dollar General and that straggler we had there. Um, next up, I got really good news. I showed you guys this pack uh, yesterday on the channel, right? That's got the... Uh, I'm so sorry. We are going to fix this glass soon with a new camera set up. Super bird, right? And I was looking for the other one. And today I struck pay dirt. I got the other one, Hot Wheels Race Team. I was saying, I think this is a Walgreens exclusive. I don't know if that's correct, but it seems like that's who, that's who's getting it, right? Because I got this at a 
Dwayne Reed, who we know is a, a, a Walgreens a holding now. So uh, what I want to do is go ahead and crack this right here for you on camera, right? And we're going to go ahead and put a couple of these into the, into the collector totes, for lack of a better term, right? And I got three castings that I want to keep in here, right? First, we're going to start with this Superbird, right? Plymouth 70 Superbird. I mean, just a gorgeous car. You got the Goodyear on the front, the Hot Wheels over the back fender, the 70 on the side. You got a nice tinted window, kind of like in a powder blue kind of tint. And just, I mean, just look at the size of that wing. That's just crazy, right? If you were standing next to this car, that thing would be over your head, right? So I'm going to put that away. I'm going to pull out my my newly minted Plymouth holder, which has the two premiums in it. We are going to fill this up with more castings as we collect. And here's that 70 Plymouth Superbird premium in the 76 livery, right? Premium. You got the Goodyear tires, rubber. Also got the Roadrunner, right? So for now, this will be Plymouth until I make this case exclusively uh, Superbird. And just look how we're going to go in the middle. Just look how nice this looks in here. I mean, gorgeous, right? Superbirds unite. This one, I'm sorry, I got to read it. This one also came with a 67 Chevy Camaro. Another casting I collect for now is Camaros. I haven't narrowed down the exact years yet, but I got a nice little variety of them. This one in the Hot Wheels Flame livery on the side. You got the Hot Wheels Flame on the hood with some nice white stripes along with that. I'm going to find my Camaros here. Just bear with me. Right. Here's some of the Camaros I have uh, for now. Right. We got some Copos. 68 and we got the 2018 Copos on the bottom Got a couple I rock Z's in there shout out to my boy moose who lives downstairs one of the original owners of a real I rock Z Got that in that burgundy we also got it in the flying customs yellow I think I have a blue one. I didn't know but I think I have to add the blue one right that was a recolor, right? And then we got a couple of the Copos from, uh, I think it's a 68 Copo. The 68 or 69. 69 Copo, right? We got that in the Falcon. We got that in the kind of rust brown. We got the 70 in the orange Hotchkiss livery. And then we have a couple of the co uh, convertible. I think it's a 68 GS this one is. So I got to look. Uh, 69, I'm sorry. And then up here we got the uh, 67. So, we're going to put this guy in here for now. I'll arrange it by date a little later, but it looks beautiful in there with all the Camaros. And then the last one I got, I'm going to have to find a home for him, but I do collect pickup trucks. We have the Ford, F, the Ford F-150 Hot Wheels Racing Team, right? Number 99 on the door panel, number 99 on the hood. Is it a Lightning? Yeah, it's a SVT. It's a Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Those metallic red rims look really nice. Especially with that 99 on the door. That's beautiful. We're going to have to poke that in somewhere. I think I got my pickup truck somewhere over here. Let me see if we got them. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to have to find them another day. But that's great. We got these two... Uh, Fantasy castings that I call them that came with this. What do we got over here? We got a Dirty Outlaw, which I kind of like. I was going to give it away. I think I'm still going to give it away, but that's kind of cool. And this thing kind of moves, kind of like floats in the breeze here. I guess as you're carving around the circle track. This is one of those uh, left turn only race cars. Drive hard, turn left, right? And then the last one we have here is the high-tech missile. 
I'm sure the kids are going to love to get that, right? Looking real futuristic, real low to the ground. But yeah, that's pretty much what I picked up today. Happy to put these things in part of my collection. I know it's a Sunday. I know most of you got to get to work tomorrow. I know I got to get to work tomorrow. So I just gave you a little peek at some more stuff. I didn't grab too much today. Just hit a couple spots early in the morning. Was happy to find that Hot Wheels Racing Team 5-pack. Really happy. Got my uh, second Super Bird. And I uh, was happy to pick up a couple of those main lines at the Dollar General. So uh, I don't know what frequency I'll be making the videos during the week. We are busy. We lead busy lives. And I'll try to post a couple times a week. But definitely on the Saturday and Sunday. Once again, thanks for tuning in. NYC Diecast. This is Jeffrey. Love you guys. Have a great night.